What's the cheapest HD TV antenna that you can build that's basically for free? We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about that in this spherical video. If you guys don't know, this is a 360 video and you can actually move your screen if you're on a phone or a mobile device or you can use the little circle thing in the top corner there to move around the screen and if you actually look over there, there is my HD TV antenna right here. Uh, I'm right here. You can see me. I did this so that you guys can see everything that we're doing here. And uh, I've really been enjoying making 360 videos. But uh, first of all, my name is Lane Fornerat. Hi. <laughs> How you doing today? AKA Lane Vids. This channel is all about building a stronger family bond with your kids through science, art, travel, and family fun. And uh, we're doing a little bit of science here, but also this science leads into some family fun because sometimes there's just some things on TV that are live that you want to be able to watch as a family, like whenever Christmas or Thanksgiving comes around, they have the peanut specials and all that. It's fun to like watch them on TV. I don't know why we find that so fun, but um, this is a great way that you guys can be able to tune in to some of those shows that you can watch as a family for like ridiculously cheap. It's literally the cost of a paperclip. Maybe a coupler if you need a coupler. <laughs> so the way this works is, as you can see, I have my homemade HD TV antenna right there. I did a video that's doing really well on YouTube about how to build that if you want to go a little bit more advanced. Um, but what we're going to do today is instead of using that antenna over there, if you turn your screen, you can see it. We are going to make a, a, an HD TV antenna out of this little tiny paper clip. So what we have right now is my TV is down in the attic. If you look down there, you can see the hole for the attic. This is the cord that runs to the TV connected to the antenna through the wall. And uh, that cord comes all the way up to that balloon right there, which connects to the copper wires on that antenna. And that receives TV signal, RF signal. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to take off the cord. So I've taken off the cord. One thing you can try with this before uh, taking off the cord and all that, one thing that you want to try is you could take this end off that's on your TV. You could take that off and stick your paperclip antenna into the input of the TV where the antenna would go. And uh, sometimes it might work. For me, it did not work. One, I think the weather might have something to do with it today. But two, there's too many electronics down there. And uh, it's kind of tucked away and hidden. All, you know, we're on the, that's on the bottom floor as opposed to up here being on the top floor. We're definitely going to get better reception. So uh, what you want to do, since we're, going, we're staying on the top floor, once you've detached it from your antenna, I uh, am going to screw on this one right here. So that the coupler is attached. Then what you want to do is you want to take your paper clip and we're going to straighten this out. So, but not all the way, just uh, the outer part, the bigger loop here is what you want to straighten out. So we're going to pull that out all the way, make it nice and straight. Then we're going to roll it up like this to make that part nice and straight. So you're making two big bins there. And now this last piece, you just want to make a 90 degree angle. So we're just going to bring it up just like that. It kind of looks like the letter L. Just like that. Y'all can see that? I'll kind of spin it around so y'all can see it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to put this inside the other end of the coupler here. It might take a little bit of a push to get it in there, but you shouldn't have to force it too much. Just like that. You'll know whenever it stops. There's actually a stopping point that stops it. Now with this, I want to get this as high as I can into my house. So that's inside. I don't want to do anything outside. Uh, so what I'm going to do is there's those rafters right up there. If you tilt your camera or your phone up to there, you scroll up. You can see the rafters up there. I'm just going to simply lay this over the top. And uh, I, I don't know how to edit 360 videos yet, so I'm just going to take you guys and we're going to go handheld down the stairs and we'll go check the TV. Because I had the antenna on there and it was catching all some great stations. Let's see what we can catch with this little guy. Y'all think this is going to work? Can I get a thumbs up? <laughs> can I get an antenna thumbs up? <laughs> y'all think this is going to work? Kind of looks like a thumbs up. Get it? <laughs> Hit that thumbs up if y'all think this is going to work. If y'all are wondering about this behind me, that's my reflector that I use on that antenna back there. It helps to reflect some signals around on a bad weather day so that we can pick up better signals. Uh, it's basically just aluminum foil attached to a foam board. 
So if you want to know about that, I did a video on that too. I'll link it up somewhere in the cards or in the description. Uh, okay, I'd like for that to stand straight up, although I don't think it really matters. So that there is going to be our antenna. Let's go downstairs and see what we're catching. Y'all ready? I'm going to pick y'all up. Woo! This is fun. <laughs> y'all can look around the house. All right. So let's come on down. Uh, we're in the hallway. And I'm going to set y'all down right on this little train table right here. And as you can see, we have TV there. So the antenna is picking up something that lets us know that. It does seem a little bit uh, frozen. Oh, oh, yeah, it's kind of having its on and off. It is a bad weather day. It's like windy and cloudy. So it's two of the worst things you can have for an antenna, it seems. Um, but let's flip through some of these. Let me see. Let me start at uh, our first station, which is 3-1. Uh, our 3 dash. Okay, yeah, there we go. This is our ABC affiliate. Look at that. Crystal clear HD picture right there. Um, again, a little bit of the, of the jitters because of the, uh, because of the wind and the whatnot. But I mean, just looking super crisp as far as picture quality there. Um, there's another ABC affiliate. Then we have the Grit TV working fine. Uh, I don't know what this 6 is. Uh, it's like an analog station that doesn't pick up. There we go. That's uh, CBS. This is the closest station that we have. Uh, I'm in Lafayette, Louisiana, by the way. Um, and that's picking it up just fine. Get TV, which I think is another type of affiliate with them or is on the same tower. Uh, Ion TV, picking it up beautifully. Um, this is our local Fox station right here. Um, another, I guess, is another Fox affiliate, KLAF. Um, My TV 3, again, picking it up just fine. Now, let's see. Yeah, right there's usually a channel 24 1, uh, 2, and 3, and that's our LPBs and our PBS. And for some reason, it doesn't pick it up uh, doing just the scan. But let's see what happens if I just type it in. It says not available. Interesting. 24 2. Let's see what happens there. Nothing. So my HD TV antenna, the bigger one that you saw up in the attic, picks up the LPB a lot better. But we do have this here. I'm not too sure exactly what it is. This here is NBC. This is the furthest one from us. It's in Baton Rouge. Uh, it's about 45 miles or so away from here, if I had to guess. But it's definitely going in and out today. Again, the weather's not helping it, but this has been one of the harder ones to pick up. And then uh, we're basically back where we started here. Uh, there's another NBC there. There's this Jesus channel here, whatever that is. Uh, KLAF again, that was the ABC, the one that's on the same ABC tower. Me TV, and then all these 50 channel, H&I, we catch a couple of, I don't know what they are. Louisiana Soul, uh, some music stuff. Um, so yeah, that's uh, an HD TV antenna made out of a paper clip. So if you don't want to take the time to build the copper wire thing that I've already made, simply take a small paper clip, or actually it's a larger paper clip, just plug it into the hole there. Run you a wire up to the top. You probably already have a wire run. And uh, you can catch some TV. At least you have something if you don't want to pay for anything. So hopefully this uh, video is helpful for you guys. If y'all want more videos from us, please click that subscribe button. Make sure to hit the bell icon. That way you get notified of all of our videos. We do all kind of videos here about family fun and just having adventures as a family. I do product reviews and all that type of stuff. So if you're into that, click the subscribe button. Click the bell icon. Um, if you need you know, like a coupler or anything, I'll put a link down in the description to Amazon where you can pick that up so that you can plug your antenna, a, uh, the clip into the wire. Um, that's it guys. Thank y'all for watching. Thanks for being shiggity shank.